Arbaeen, the journey of love. Millions of pilgrims from all over the world walk for days, sometimes weeks, to reach their beloved Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. One of the greatest shows of human kindness, generosity, and compassion you will ever witness. Footstep after footstep, Muwakib after Muwakib, tear after tear, to Kabbalah. Okay, everybody, good afternoon. Masal Khair from Najaf. After an incredible day exploring this beautiful city, it's now time to begin the incredible journey towards Kabbalah. Arbaeen is an annual walk towards Kabbalah, the place where Imam Hussein, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was killed along with his family and others some 1400 years ago. Arbaeen occurs 40 days after Ashura and pilgrims come from all over the world and walk from as far away as Basra, hundreds of miles away, to reach the shrine of their beloved Hussein in Kabbalah. Yeah, so we're about one hour outside of Najaf. We've been walking for a little while. What I've come across is nothing sort of spectacular. People from all over the world, Azerbaijan, Iran, America, all here to walk the same footsteps as each other People are so nice here. The amount of times I've been stopped for photos, people are just so warm and friendly. It's beautiful. The journey of Kabbalah would not be possible without the Mawakib. The Mawakib are ordinary Iraqis, so free of charge those who walk. Food, drinks of all kinds, places to sleep, of course places to pray, and medicine for those who need it during the long journey towards Hussein in Kabbalah. The Mawakib are the definition of human kindness, generosity, and love. Ideals that Hussein was known for. So just like the Mawakib for food and water and everything else in between, there of course is Mawakib for prayer. It's now prayer time. A lot of people are coming in here to pray. Assalamu alaikum. Everyone is so kind here. I'm very, very, very blown away by the kindness. Huh? Irani? Uh, Britannia. Huh? Britannia. Britannia. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we just tried to leave, uh, but they're insisting we eat. Another token of their generosity here. Let's head in and just have a shush for it, just a little bit. Shukran, <laughs> Habibi. 
السلام عليكم 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 Mm. Incredible, just like the hospitality here. Amazing. Shukran, how are you? Shukran, nice to meet you. We are the service. 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 We are شكراً مع السلامة ألو مع السلامة مع السلامة صفحة 411 الكاية والكتاب الحكيم هدى ورحمة للمحسنين So throughout the entire walk, you will walk into these tents and you will find the most lovely people and as you can see, these guys have welcomed me into their tent. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys. <laughs> shukran, shukran! Thank you, shukran! Shlonak? Shlonak, Zian? 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 Zian, Alhamdulillah! Hi guys! <laughs> I've been walking for about five hours. The energy here is incredible. People are so warm and it really pushes me further to keep going and I can't wait to feel the energy in Karbala. I think it's going to be something I've never ever experienced before. Wow, what an experience. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. It's currently 10 past 3 in the morning. I've been walking ever since. We've made pretty good headway, but I'm actually going to take a rest here. So the Moroccan, um with the food and the water also have beds as well as medicine. So I'm actually going to sleep with a lot of the locals inside one of these. These are the guys. It's been an absolutely phenomenal day. I can't quite believe I'm doing this. It's beyond beautiful, the people, the food, the hospitality has blown my mind and yeah, I'm too tired to explain myself right now. <laughs> Good morning everybody, Svetl Khair from day two on the road towards Karbala. Yesterday was a phenomenal experience, I can't quite believe uh, the hospitality I received, the love and the kindness, but the road continues, it's just after 8am and as you can see there are thousands of people walking again this morning, Svetl Khair. Slow neck? Yeah, That's so cute. Yeah, as you can see, thousands of people are already walking as soon as the first light hits. In the middle of the day, it gets way too hot to be walking, so many people start as soon as the first light hits and they can get a good distance in before taking a rest and restarting again in the late afternoon. Many rulers in Iraq have banned the pilgrimage and attacked those who still try to walk. 
Those who were found walking had their hands cut off, some tortured and killed in an attempt to suffocate the true message of Imam Hussein. Even through the times of ISIS, they still walked, and the Mawakib still came to help the pilgrims, no matter the danger they faced. Many Mawakiba were found by ISIS and killed, but they still walked. The Arba'in is one of the greatest shows of human determination, kindness, resilience and love you will ever witness.